So today's story problem video, the units is going to be animals, okay? Do you guys like animals? Oh yeah? Well, I certainly like animals. I think my favorite animal has to be an elephant. Now, before we get into the story problem, we need to make sure our bodies are ready. So our feet need to be flat on the floor, backs up nice and straight, eyes on the speaker and ears open. I'm checking, I'm checking. You guys look so ready. Now, let's get into this problem, shall we? I'm gonna read it to you guys three times. So your magnifying glasses have to be up and ready to go, okay? The animal shelter has 14 cats and 25 dogs available for adoption. How many animals do they have? The animal shelter has 14 cats and 25 dogs available for adoption. How many animals do they have? Last time I'm reading it, get those magnifying glasses up. The animal shelter has 14 cats and 25 dogs available for adoption. How many animals do they have? Okay, scholars, so you know what time it is. That's right, we have to mark up that text. So we're gonna go through this text and mark it up for the important information that's gonna help us figure out our number sentence and then figure out the unknown, okay? So the animal shelter had 14 now, what is important here? Good, the 14, okay? So we're actually gonna circle this 14. Very, very important. Great. And 25 dogs, what's important here? Great, the 25 dogs. Awesome, so underlying dogs and underlying cats. All right, they're available for adoption. How many animals do they have? What is important about that sentence? Good, the how many animals? And we know that animals is our, yes, animals is our unit. So we're gonna underline animals. And then how many? Perfect. Now, let's think here. We need to write some numbers down. So we circled that 14 and we circled that 25. Now, we are figuring out how many do they have. So are we gonna be using addition or subtraction? What do you think? Hmm, addition you say, why addition? Yes, because we're trying to figure out how many do they have all together. So we're gonna be adding the animals because we're putting it together, right? Let's write our number sentence. 14 plus 25, equals what? Do we know how much they have? That's right, we don't know, not just yet, right? So what are we gonna put? Yes, we're gonna put a box to show our unknown. Perfect. Now, we need to label our parts and our holes. What do we know about parts and holes? That's right, we know that part plus part equals whole, right? So let's label that. What do you think is gonna be our parts and what are gonna be our holes? Yes, good. So the 14 and 25 are gonna be our parts. And then this box over here, that's going to be our hole. So we're gonna put a W. Awesome. Next up, we have to figure out what strategy we're going to use. Now, we know that when we use counting on, that we have two parts when we use counting on. When we use counting back, we have a part and we have a whole. So let's take a look at what we have here. The problem gave us a part and a part. So are we gonna be using counting on or counting back? Ding, 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 we're gonna be using counting on, you've got it. So we're gonna be counting on. Now, before we do that, I have to talk to you about base 10. So we're gonna be showing this using tens and ones. Now, tens are shown using strips and ones are shown using singles. Tens are strips, ones are singles, okay? So let's think about this. 
Now, you can use a tens and one stripe to help you out to just figure out, hmm, which is tens in the number 14, which is ones in the number 14, and, and also with the number 25 over here, okay? So I'm gonna show you it on the side, just in case you need it, couldn't hurt, right? So let's take a look at the number 14. And we'll put it in our tens and ones right here. Tens, ones. So when we stick the number 14 in here, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. All we need to do is look at the tens. How many tens are in the number 14? Good, one group of tens. So we're gonna draw one strip, okay? So let's draw it over here. Perfect. Now, how many ones are in 14? Good, four ones. So we have four singles that we're drawing. One, two, three, and four. So once we have that, we have to label inside of the strips and inside of the singles. Now, we know that inside of this strip, there are how many ones? Good, there are 10 ones. So we're putting the number 10 inside of there. Now, these singles, we just have to count one, two, three, and so on, okay? So let's do that. One, two, three, and four. Perfect, so we have that down, all right? So next up, we want to double check that we actually wrote the number 14. It's always great to double check your work. So we have 10 here, let's start counting. 10, and then counting by ones, so we have to switch count to ones. 10, then comes 11. Next up, 12, 13, and 14. So we have that right. Now let's take a look over here at the number 25. So tens and ones chart, put 25 in there. Okay, great. So now we have to show the number 25. So we're gonna put an addition sign, a plus, just like that. How many groups of 10 are here? Good, we're drawing two strips. One and two. Perfect. Now, how many ones do we have over here in this ones column? Five ones, so let's do that. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. So now let's jump back over here. So we have to label the tens. So we know that in each and every single strip, there are 10 ones. So let's label them, tens and 10, okay? And now with these um, ones over here, we just have to label them um, counting on by ones or counting up by ones. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Next up, we got a double check. So we're gonna write 10 at the bottom here, okay? And then counting by tens, what comes next? Good, 20. And then now we gotta switch count to ones. What comes after that? 21, 22, count with me, 23, 24, and 25. Now, we're all right, we did 25 here. Now this is the next step, very, very important step. So we have to count the tens, and then we have to count the ones, okay? So let's start off with the tens. So we're counting the sticks, okay? So we're gonna be counting by tens because we're adding up all of the ones inside of these groups of 10, okay? So let's start off. 10, 20, 30. So I'm gonna write that on the top. 10, 20, 30. Perfect. So we have it right here. Next up, we just have to add these ones. So after the number 30 comes what? Good, 31. Keep counting, 32, 33, 34. And now we have to look over here because we still have some ones over here. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Perfect, so we have 39 right here. So we know that in all, there are 39 animals. So 39, and then we can write 39 animals. So watch it over here. 39 animals and circle it. So 
I would really like you guys to use two strategies to solve these kinds of problems because that'll be really, really helpful in the future when you're double checking. Now, say for example, you're a person and you think, wait a minute, base tens, that's a little bit too tricky for me. I need to work my way up to that. No problem. I have something for you. Okay, so watch this. Now, we still are working with the same number sentence here, 14 plus 25. So I'm going to put that down here. Okay. Now, what you can do is you can just count on using the circle strategy. Okay. So now we're at 25, right? We have to take the bigger number here. That's 25. So put your 25 here. Put it in a box. Plus, then you just have to draw how many circles? That's right, 14. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have our ten here. Then 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay? So now we have our 14. Let's just double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Perfect. Now, we just have to count on the top of these circles, okay? So we're at 25. Now, what number comes after 25? The 26, 27, keep counting, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and ding, 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 39. So look at that. This is why it's awesome, awesome, awesome to use two strategies because we see that we did it this other way and we got 39 here and then we also got 39 here. So for all of you people that know how to do part, part, whole model or you know how to do um, standard algorithm, which is basically just putting the numbers on top and then carrying the numbers over, whichever strategy you know how to do and you want to double check it, Definitely do that strategy. So that's my challenge for you guys to use two strategies to solve this problem. Okay, so you can try base tens, which is what I would love for you to try, or you can still go back to your basic circles, or you can use, like I said, part, part, whole, standard algorithm. It's up to you, whatever you know how to do, then try it. Okay. All right, guys. So that is all for today. I want you guys to now do your homework. Your homework is going to be there on a document. Take a look at it. I'm not going to be writing it out anymore because we want to save the trees, right? We don't want to waste a lot of paper. So instead, we're going electronic, okay? So all of your homework questions are going to be on a sheet, on a document for you guys to look up, okay? All right. So send in your homework. Teachers will give you feedback. And until next time, bye, scholars.